right, I'm going to do something I haven't done before. How about an eight-part series trying to follow the thoughts of the path of knowledge, Jnana Yoga. And uh, I'm going to take some quotes from Sri Nishagatata Maharaj from his uh, book, I Am That, since he seems to do it so clearly in there. And uh, our first one is that I am not this body, mind, or person, nor am I any thing, anything objectified, all right? He says, as I can't be what I perceive, right? You can't be what you're looking at, that, that way, just like you can't see your face, right? Uh, there, there's no way to be what you are observing or perceiving. So just the fact that you can see, perceive, or experience something means you are not that thing which you are seeing or perceiving. As there must be something unchanging to register discontinuity, I am not this body-mind which is neither continuous nor permanent, right? Imagine your one-year-old body and now take your whatever age you are, I'm 56, let's put those two bodies together and try and see what is the same in the both of them. Well, there's probably not a single cell in either of those bodies that's still the same. This idea of a continuity has to be maintained by something. Something has to unify that experience of change uh, into a being, in, into a, a oneness, right? As the person is a changing stream of mental objects that I, as the subject, take to be my body-mind, I cannot be a person. I am, but I can't be this or that. Right? So that's that I am-ness, this sense of I, which has been continuous and unchanging through our entire life, regardless of the changing outside world, regardless of the changing body, and regardless of the rapidly changing mind. I am a unity. All I can say is that I am, and that this I am-ness is not a part of that which is being observed, that it is not anything external to itself right? It is the ultimate witness, the ultimate perceiver. As it is my presence, which is always here and now, that gives the quality of actual to any event, I must be beyond space and time. I was never born, nor will I ever die, because those would be changes, and I am the unchanging. This brings to the forefront this experience that we have of here and now, which actually can't be an experience because it's timeless, right? The here and now is never actually here and now if you're trying to perceive it. By the time you perceive it, it's already passed. It becomes there and then. <laughs> so we are actually experiencing something that in essence uh, is, is, is eternal something that's not a part of the flow of time because we see it before it becomes a part of the flow of time. We see an isness that we can't measure and we can't find through the senses. You can't see a here and you can't experience a now because by the time the process of perception has happened, they are finished. All right, so that is part one.